I wanted to just print the data? Since this is a, a long set of data, or at least longer than one page, I have some things that I want to take care of here. And imagining that this would be repeated, I may want to record the procedure that helps me out to make this option so that I don't have to be setting the tweaking all the printing settings every time. OK, one of the things that we can use for that could be recording a macro. I'm going to put the view normal because it's just uh, usually our default mode to work just easier let's go to the developer tab and uh, macros or here record macro or just click this button here to start recording a macro i'm going to call it print 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 data maybe i'm not going to do a lot of work uh, or almost none work with the code today but just so that you have an idea of what you can do you start recording a macro and then do all the steps you would do to set the printing. For example, I want to set this as a print area. OK, so I come to page layout, print area, set print area. Then I also want to make sure that row number five is the row to print in all the pages in case I need more than one page to cover all the data. So you see here, print area is already set up there. Rows to repeat at the top would be row number five. In this case, I don't need to set any columns to repeat because it's not too wide, the data that we need to print. And then we could select other things here. I can also come to header. I already have things in the headers. Uh, so as long as the user does not touch them, they would stay for the next printing run. Uh, if I'm not so sure that people won't be messing with my headers and footers, then I may want to record some of those procedures as well. For example, the margins, I may want to, to keep the margins as they are. Okay. The last thing would be adjust fit to one page wide, meaning this is equivalent to, to choosing this other menu where we were before that said fit all columns in one page so that's the same thing okay the paper size to the orientation i can choose all these here i'm going to leave portrait orientation say okay and that's it i'm going to stop the recording now if i click alt f11 or come to the developer tab and click visual basic i get access to to my VBA editor. And in here, the reports live file under modules, I see the module one. And this is where we get all the code that uh, we generated. Sometimes if we do things in different phases, if we select titles and then we get out of the window and then we go back to select something else, it repeats this code uh, over and over for us. We just need to grab the last section, the last, so that we don't need to repeat everything several times. We just grab the last set of settings, OK? We would not need that. I don't need to select. Uh, when I need to print, I don't need to select the columns. This was just because I selected them to define the print area. And then we have a bunch of things here that we now could tweak this code to make this easier to read, but we have the fundamentals here. You see the print area, you see the print titles, and usually we do not have to go through all these settings, but uh, we can choose the ones that are important for us. For example, left header, it says empty. The center header, it says uh, this is how the format that we have to the title that says sales report is translated. So just leave it like that. And we have other things going on here on the left footer. This is the code for the file name on the center footer. This is the code for date and time. Just leave it there. And these are the margins that we chose. If you are happy with these margins, just leave these numbers there. 
then you, you can come here and tweak this a little bit until you find a good option for you. And for example, print head headings false. That's the default. Uh, if we don't say anything about it, even print grid, grid, uh, grid lines, we can delete some of these settings here. Print comments, we don't need to do that. We don't need to indicate anything about that. Horizontally, if we want to keep it as true, then it's important to leave it there. The vertically, if we don't say anything, it will default to false and unless someone changes it, right? So what I want to say is that every time we run the code, it will do whatever we leave here. So we can leave just what is important. For example, all these settings for the event page, if, if we are not interested in asking for those settings to be changed, we can just delete these rows of code, okay? Other things that are important. This could be important, depending on whether or not you want that. The orientation is important. Draft to false if you want to always indicate that for your printing option. If this is to print in paper, that could be a, a good setting to leave there. But if it is for a PDF, then you don't need that. Paper size can be important. First page number, usually if it is automatic, you don't have to leave it there. I very rarely use that. Down and over is the orientation that uh, in which the pages will be printed. So down and over means Excel will go down until it finds the last piece of data, a row with data, and then it will move over to the right if there's more columns to print. Black and white, maybe we don't need that. Mm -hmm. Zoom, this portion here is important. This is the portion you need to use if you need to set up that you want all the columns fitting one page, okay? Or if you want all the all the rows, then you would have to work with this setting here. Print errors, we usually don't need that. Or other even pages scale, we usually I don't need that. Or maybe we want to leave that to uh, make uh, headers and footers align with the page, but it will default to true anyways. So anyways, this are, and then this is all everything that we were putting in the left header, center header, and right header for the first page. Remember, we set a different header for the first page and uh, something different for the other pages. Everything is in here. So it's just a matter of going through all these parameters and try to understand what they mean and use them to our advantage.